This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Tiered storage is a great new feature of Windows Server 2012 R2. So I'm going to go to File and Storage Services here in Server Manager. Go down to my Storage Pools. And Storage Pools has to do with storage spaces. We learned about that in the Windows Server 2012 Administration Training New Features on ITDVDs.com because that was a feature that was introduced with Windows Server 2012. But this tiered storage really takes this a step further and uh, extends it out. So I've got this one storage pool here already created called Storage Pool 1. It has three disks in it, three physical disks. And you can see here we have a media type. This first disk is SSD, that's solid state disk. These other two, disk 2 and disk 3, are HDD. So these can be SATA, your 10K SCSI, or your 15K SCSI drives. And what Windows is actually going to do, it's going to create two tiers, basically SSD and everything else. So SSD is your high performance, very expensive drives. Your other drives like SATA, 10K or 15K drives, are going to be your slower drives. Generally, SATA is going to be your higher capacity drive. Nonetheless, those all get thrown into one tier. So if I go to create a new virtual disk on this storage pool, let's create, select new virtual disk, click next. Select my storage pool here, click next. I'll just give it a name, uh, test disk. And here we have the option to create storage tiers on this virtual disk. If I check it, storage tiers enables automatic movement of the most frequent access files to faster SSD storage. So this is pretty cool. The files that aren't being used a lot that are going to be on this virtual disk, it'll put those in the HDD, the hard disk drive tier, which is going to have your SATA, your 10K, or your 15K drives in the files that are being accessed a lot are going to be put on your SSD drives. And it's going to do this dynamically. So if the files that were being accessed a lot are no longer being accessed, it will actually move them down to your hard disk drive tier. And the other files that are being accessed a lot, it's going to move up to your solid state drives. And there's actually a scheduled task that handles that movement of files from HDD to SSD and vice versa. So I'll go ahead and click Next. I'm just going to create a simple, I could do mirror if I'd like, click next, and I'll make it fixed, click next. So this is really cool. How much space do we want to use up on our faster tier, the SSD, the solid state drives, and how much space do we want to use on our hard disk drive tier? So let's say I only want to use 10 gigs on my SSD tier and 30 gigs on my HDD tier, that's going to give it a total size of 40 gigs. And it lets me know the virtual disk might take additional space to create a write-back cache. So this is pretty cool. It's going to be a persistent write-back cache that's actually going to be on our SSD drives. And that will help us with quick uh, bursts of a, a lot of little writes. Therefore, improving performance. So I'll click Next and Create. And Close. And I'll probably want to create a new volume. I'll just go ahead and do that now. And I can select my disk. Next. I'll make it the whole size. Click Next. E drive is fine. NTFS is fine. Click Next and Create. And I'll go ahead and close out. So now we can take a look at it in Explorer here. So now we've got this E drive. As we add files to it, the ones that are going to be used the most are going to be moved to the SSD, that 10 gigs of SSD we're taking up for this virtual disk. The ones that aren't being used are going to stay on the hard disk drives, which are going to be our SATA, 10K, and 15K drives. So what we're doing here is we're really maximizing the use of our SSD drives because those are pretty expensive. A lot of times we'd have to you know, create a LUN or something like that from our SSD drive, and we might not use all the space on it. We might have some files on there that aren't being accessed a lot. We, you know, we try to maximize it, but this does all the maximizing for us. Not only that, it allows us to use our SSD disks on multiple virtual disks. So if I create another virtual disk, I can use up another 10 gigs of this SSD on that virtual disk. So I don't have to have you know, a super fast performing virtual disk, and then my other disks are on hard disk drives. 
I can spread the power of the SSD across all my virtual disks if I want. And throw in that right back cache and we really have a, a nice solution to maximize the money we're spending on our SSDs and our hard disk drives.